Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are working on question number 13. This question has to do with exponents and exponent rules. So the rule that we need to know here when we're dividing two things with the same base, so just as a quick refresher, x is called the base, and then what's in the upper right is called the exponent. And as long as those x's match, what we're going to do if it's being divided is we're going to subtract. So we could actually rewrite this as x to the 4b plus 1 minus 2 minus b. So basically, you're almost combining those into one term, and you're subtracting the exponents. One mistake that is incredibly easy to make is to forget to distribute that minus sign. So here, we're going to be sure that we're distributing that negative in to both of those terms. So now, when we do our next step, we're just going to combine like terms. So this here is going to be our 4b, and this is going to become a plus b, again, since we're distributing that negative in. So that's going to become a 5b. And now we have 1 minus 2, which is just negative 1. So that would give us our answer choice of E. If you would like to learn how to multiply exponents, I'm going to give you a quick example of that. So feel free to stick around for that. Um, but otherwise, the division lesson is over. OK, so now let's talk about if we have two terms. Let's say we have x to the 3b plus 1 times x to the 2. So here, the rule is not to subtract like we did before. Here, we're actually going to add the exponent. So this would be equal to x to the 3b plus 1 plus 2, which is just equal to x to the 3b plus 3. All right. Well, hope you guys found that helpful, and I will see you on the next one.